Hello folks and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and the Let's Play Fallout 4. Today's episode is brought to you by Gage. Thank you very much Gage for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. And just your support on Extra Life as well. So I decided I'm going to plant some more crops. Um, I get some stuff. Oh wait, I tried to do it a different way. We gotta replace that right leg now that's bugging me. Or left leg. So, let's go ahead and do this. Food. I'm gonna do corn. Corn looks awesome. And we could redo children of the corn. We'll put it back here or not. There we go. Damn. That'll be out of out of uh, out of order. All right. So now we need to assign people to do things. Remember before I was like, I don't know how to do this. Basically, what you have to do is find the person. Actually, wait. Can I look at this? Requires. Okay, those people are not. Those are not being used. I have a feeling that not all of these are being done as either. Yeah, there's one missing. All right. Hey, you. Come here. You need to go and deal with these corn. There we go. Oop, shit. Whoa. Can you just pick it right up, I guess? Wow. Interesting. All right. So I think that should... All right, it brings us up to nine food. So we need to plant three more. Because they can do three apiece. There's no reason not to. Gourds... Potatoes, we have that. I'm trying to just do something we don't have. Carrots, we got. Let's do gourds. We don't have gourds. Get this. Yeah, melons, but not gourds. I wonder if they actually like we see them tending to the crops. Crops. All right. So that should catch up in a second. Takes up 12. We're probably going to need more defense soon. Well, no, that's fine. Uh, let's also do another water pump as well. These other ones require electricity. Oh, what is this? No, this one doesn't. Oh, it must be placed in the... Oh, actually, you know what? You've got, uh... Oh, it also requires electricity, though, so screw it. Uh, we'll do a water pump over... Let's do one over here. Again, just spreading them out. I don't think it really matters. You could put every... I mean, I have a feeling you could do everything just, like, pretty much right on top of each other. Like, you could put all the turrets together if you really wanted to. Like, it probably just looks at the value. But I don't know if, if they actually attack, you know, how does that get taken care of? Oh, so it looks like he is actually going to walk over and tend to the plants. I'll say sweet. So you... I don't want her on the card post. But it looks like we don't have a choice. So this is where it gets a little bit testy because now I have to go find them. I don't think you can tell him to patrol. Like, he patrols. I can tell him to go maple log. Oh, maybe that, like, she harvests it? Which, that kind of is pointless. I can just press it and right-click it, so. Oh, shit. I don't know why. It, I had to hit it twice, but then when I do, it, like, uh, it picks it up. I don't know, that's weird. That makes it- that looks really weird with the green glow. But, anyway. So now, she's gonna man that guard tower, so ain't nothing coming that way without our- our knowing about it. Cool, and as you can see, our defense went up to 22. So now, the next thing we need to do before we do our quest for the day, or at least one of our quests for today, is to take a look at our talents. Um, to be honest, I meant to look ahead of time to see what I was going to pick up and completely forgot to do so. 
Uh, Kim Reliant, I'm kind of thinking about. 50% less likely to get addicted when consuming Kims just to avoid the after effects, which I'm not even sure what they are. Uh, Life Giver, you gain 20, plus 20 maximum health. That seems really low though, right? How much, ma how much health do we have now? 167. 20 more is like... Eh, it's probably more than like 10%. I'm not good at the math. So that's, I guess that's not too awful, but I feel like our points could be better spent elsewhere. Let's go ahead and get this one. It's boring, the toughness. Uh, gain 10 damage resistance. It's boring, but... <laughs> nice. But, you know, it's gonna be useful. And every one is like more, 10 more, so... You know, we'll see if we really need to do more than that. We probably will later on, but right now I feel it's it's working out. Uh, also, I'm probably going to work on my own house a little bit more, trying to, to spruce, spruce it up. Uh, you can't destroy houses as far as I can tell. I wonder if you can like fix the walls and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's look at doing the Diamond City quest. So yeah, again, for those of you following along, which again, please let me know if you are, because that amuses me greatly. I love that people sometimes will play along. Anyway, Jewel of the Commonwealth is the quest we're doing. It's one of the main storyline quests. So we are going to go ahead and teleport, or fast travel, not teleport. That's totally different. Down here. Load times have been fairly quickly. I am installed on SSD drive. But I know with Witcher, man, load times sometimes can be... Fairly brutal at times. Uh, in this game, it's been pretty quick. Of course, now I say that, it's gonna go slow. I do need to go to our other settlements and bump their defenses up a little bit. I'm hoping our main settlement gets happier, though, because they were at, like, 35 before. This oh, shit. Be Come on over here. You motherfucker. Tah. Your own buddy caught you on fire. You can't blame me for that. I don't know what the hell happened there. Still alive, Christ. You know what? Let's let's do this. Let's do this. I want to see how well this works. I want to see how good Jet is for for getting in. <laughs> God damn. Oh my god! That guy's like, holy shit! Oh my god! Holy shit! This guy, like, blew up! Oh my god! Let's eat what left of his corpse! <laughs> Blood everywhere! My god! That was amazing. So it, it, it sort of helped, I guess. It slowed down time, but it slowed it for everybody. So it's not like, I don't think it's really like you moving that much faster. It was kind of hard to tell. But I got too into uh, things going insane there. But yeah, cannibalism, definitely, absolutely worth it. For this difficulty level anyway. <laughs> I guess it's the way we killed earlier. Raider scum. Ooh, hell yeah, drugs. Missile launcher, wow. I completely missed that. Obviously. Alright, so anyway, let's go on over to Diamond City. We'll see what's happening over there. Hopefully we don't run any more of those super mutants. Or super mutants. Uh, the ghouls, rabid ghouls. I see that Trinity Tower radio signal. Uh, we'll probably hit that a little bit later. You know what? Now that it says that, let's we'll tune into it. If see if it's actually something interesting. All radio stations have a broadcast range. The further you get from the source, the harder it'll be to pick up. Or Mayday, or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm setting this to repeat. Oh shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming. Help or mayday or whatever it is. One huh. says on a radio. 
All right, so let's turn that off. Because I thought that might be a quest. We're not gonna do it right now. I did see. I did see there is a person up here. What the fuck was that? Your death, bitch. Oh, it. On. Oh, it is on. It's on like Saigon. Arm, yummy, yummy. All right, did we get a? Uh... All right, game. I know now. I've got you now. Oh, here we go. Cushioned, hardened, raider, left leg. Oh, fifth dive defense. Wow. That's actually quite nice. Strengthened, boiled. Wow, these guys are starting to get some pretty nice gear. I wonder if it's starting to scale? I hope not. Like, I think scaling is good to a certain extent, but not, like, a ton. Uh, what I mean by scaling is where... I saw the shotgun, then I thought, wait, this has got to be trapped. What the hell was that? It ain't nothing, man. Just come on down here. I promise you. Everything's fine. There's definitely no scary cannibals around the corner. This is bullshit. I see you. Wow. Oh, the bleed did him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, so they're still doing, like, a shit ton of damage. Part of it, though, I think it helps is, like, they're shooting me while I'm moving. I've got to get stopped. Motherfucker! Why don't you come down here and say that? So when I'm, you know, when I'm stopped, I get that damage resistance boost. Where are you at? Stubborn. I'll give you that. Where are you at? Come on. Jesus Christ, wow, those guns do a shit ton of damage. Alright, we went... Hmm, so even holding still didn't help there. Which he was also, like, shooting right on top of me, too. Oh, I actually still have my shotgun. I thought I'd put it away. Can I pick that up, please? Oh shit, these are like high level or something. Just you or me. So I don't know what it means. I mean, I guess when it's got the skulls, it means they're like high level. I had the smart. That was right in the skull. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, now it's really too late. Thanks. Alright, where's your buddy? Ah, man, like these are like way high level, I think. Which is weird, because like those were like super easy, but then these are insanely hard. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. Shut the fuck up a second. I hear something. There's some dickwad over here. I don't pretty sure it wasn't the guy up there. Get off. What the are you doing? Why do they always got a my track? Uh, just stand there. Eat bullets. Hurry, reload faster. Or he's like, hmm, being shot in the head kind of sucks. 
Let me go stand where he was standing. Maybe I'll get a better idea what's going on. Got it, six. Come on. Made a big mistake, rookie. Oh, God. That's gotta hurt. Marksman's hardened piercing automatic pipe rifle. Ah, that's why. Piercing shots. Zack Hood with straps. I think I might actually have that. I need to get my health back. I want to see if that was actually worthwhile. Especially this guy. This is the guy with the nasty shit. Pretty oven mitt. That was probably part of it. I need to have squat. Medium. Ooh, explosives box. I will definitely want this. Damn it. Be a little bit gentle, even though we have 43 pens. Should be a little bit more. Here we go. Yes. Frag, frag grenade. Okay, good. All oh, great stuff. Wait. Okay. <laughs> lunch pail. Squirrel bits and why? That's a lunch for kings. Where's your gun go? A cooking station. I don't think I have anything to cook. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Different animation for it, too. That's cool. Didn't I only pick up one weapon from that? I know I got his. Did he drop his down here? I don't know why I try to sneak. Looking for that oh, shit. You're still here. Oh shit. Huh. I don't know if I was supposed to kill this guy. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Short automatic pipe, DC guard umpire's pans. <laughs> well, uh let's not quick save. Let's save it to a new slot. I don't know if this is one of those cases where, like, everybody magically knows I killed a guard. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> but I had to try to remember not to quick save now. In case I just did something bad. That's probably why he didn't detect me. He probably was a hostile. Diamond City. That seems like a trap to me. All these things kind of leading us in that direction. We'll see what's going. All right. Easy. Easy gun. Let's see if this guy telepathically knows I killed another guard. You should get inside the city. Nope, he didn't. Hey there. See those big lights? That's right. Work on electricity. Nice. All right, so I guess we're safe. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Mr. Random Guard, that I just shanked out of nowhere. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. Uh, I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Boo. Ah! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> Um, hello. You. 
You want into Diamond City, right? What? <laughs> Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. No need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <laughs> what? I'm nothing. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. So wait a minute. If it's Diamond City, why is it the Green Jewel? Shouldn't it be Emerald City? Like, you know. Are you gonna get sued by uh, Wizard of Oz? Alright, so it looks like we are supposed to go this Piper, way. So. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer that scrapped for parts. Mr. Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the common <laughs> Diamond City. Safe, okay. happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Well, 200-ish years old. Your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates anything? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. Hmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Give me a weird look. All right. So ignoring that, or are we? Because it did not update my quest. Jewel of Common Quest, find information about Sean. Okay, so I guess we have to ask around. I don't know if we got to talk to her specifically, but uh, we need to talk to some NPCs. You're Sullivan, right? So that's what the name tag that says. You're trader Piper was talking about. Some tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? That is correct. I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just She's still innocent. So She's not evil oh, yet. Sure it did. Yet. Happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. 
Didn't your mother ever teach you to be honest? Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My baby's been kidnapped. His name is Sean. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now, and we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The Institute? What's that? Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. Nice spelling. I'll ask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Alright, let's put on our glasses. God, I hope I have them with me. Because I want to... Talk to people that have higher charisma. I thought I intentionally left them. There we go. No, that's reception. Oh, wait, was it glasses? What was it? Oh, I think it was one of the dresses. Oh, Chef Hat actually gives us luck. I didn't even notice it gave us anything. I just wore it because I liked them. Um, We don't have anything that gives us charisma, do we? We've got those, uh, those drug things that we can use. Actually, no, we don't have them. We just saw that we could make them. Damn. <sighs> Left my dress in my... at home. Hey, Sullivan. Not to be rude, but I'm a bit busy here. Well, we best relax. <clears throat> hey. Hey. So... Alright, man, that Twin City radio tower is like, we're like, hanging around the edge, apparently. Because we keep going, getting the signal, losing the signal, getting the signal, losing the signal. But yeah, I still haven't quite get what the skull on a character means. I'm, I'm presuming, like I say, that it's just like a really high level enemy, like higher level than myself. Because I know that's what the the death, death, uh, death claw had that we ran into earlier. Getting some frame drops now. Her frame rate loss here. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Nah, uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. Can you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way? Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <laughs> Hey, sweetie. Free paper. You need this paper. Everything on the Institute, the public needs to know. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better eat up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Just hoping to find something here. Yeah, you and every scaver in the Commonwealth. So what are you looking for, huh? I'm looking for my baby. His name's Sean. You have a son, lady? Wow, you're old. Thanks. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. 
You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Okay, kid. Maybe we can actually buy and sell. All Faith's Chapel. Read all about it. Anyone it's is one of those Are things. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Oh, wow. You're tall. Hi. Well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? Bitch. Wow. Huh. There are no words. I don't care for your tone. Why don't you run along before I make a complaint with security? Bitch. What did you say? Oh, whatever. I'm done talking to you. Huh. <laughs> I will destroy you. Later. Stealing? Uh, nobody really owns anything. I don't think it's really fair to say stealing. I want to read this, even though she gave me one. October 2287, The Synthetic Truth. Noodles, we all, th all eat them. We all love them. And Diamond City's power noodles have supplied the sustenance for the past 15 years. Wait, how long is this? Holy God. Wow. Okay. Not reading all of that. I will, maybe, off-camera or something, because I know she gave me a copy as well. So let's go find this detective. Hey. Morning, Shimasuka. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? <laughs> nice. Noodle cup. Mm. Oh, it's not ra radiated, so that's good. Uh, let's, speaking of, let's sell some of our stuff that's radiated. Maybe get some things that, you know, are not so much. Um, oh, let's go ahead and... How much are his noodle cups? Wow, 61. Uh, yeah, I'll take the trade anyway. We know we lost a little bit of money. That's fine. Twenty-four hour service. Ooh. Only at Weaponry. City Weapons workbench. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City surplus is open twenty-four hours a day. What do you sell here? Everything, Mum. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Let's see what you got. The highest quality available. Yeah, I'm sure. Now he's got a lot of ammo. Uh, Aluminum. Okay, all of this is good. Wait. Why did I mark concrete? I don't even remember. Biometric scanner. Wow, he's got a lot of stuff. Looks like other players have been here selling him a lot of stuff. How can you tell how much this something is worth? Well, how much they're going to sell it to you before... Oh, 15? Is that what it is, maybe? Okay, that is good. Uh, let's see. Escape. Nope. Cancel, yep. That's fine. Uh well let's double check see what he's got. Right. Okay. Sure. Let's take a look. Oh goody. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> I do like how they make a noise whenever you like click through to make it go faster. Wow. Oh, oh whoa, fusion cell. Isn't that um, what you use for the... Oh, no, they use fusion core. Fusion cell. He's got one fusion core. Yikes, 610. Yeah, with my charisma, I'm not going to be negotiating a whole lot. Oh, good, we can break this up. Is any kind of other melee weapon or a hand hand? Nope, he does not. Carol. <laughs> Fate advisor. Oh, sunglasses increase your perception. I don't know if I really believe in that. Wastelanders. Ch oh, what is that? Why has it got a star next to that? One. Oh, one agility and one perception. Wow. Damage resist 13. Wow. 1200, 1241 value. That's pretty darn good. To say the least. Ooh. I'm going to have to think on that. I'll not do it right now, but I'm going to remember come back to Percy. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. There's this really cool place. I think you should avoid it. This is the private eye. Home plate. Car has a key. All right, Cog. I mean, not Cogsworth. The guy who's just like here he goes. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight Is back? Is this it? Institute nope. has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the freedom trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? Ah. You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the sense. Newcomer, huh? Talk, Talk to, to Abbott, Abbott at the, at the wall. wall. Want, a Want a history lesson? Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That uh, I got a quest just from just standing there listening in. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Is something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Hey. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but... He just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Now that crazy dame, she doesn't understand my racket. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's the small matter of expenses. <laughs> Don't play games with me. I'll pay you if you find Nick, but it's going to be a hundred caps. That's the reward, and it's not up for negotiation. Damn you, bad charisma! Who's this... Skinny Malone character. I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. <laughs> so it's like the Iceland-Greenland situation. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please hurry. All right. Let's go find this detective. Yes, there's some irony there, isn't there? I wonder I wonder if this is kind of the same deal as before in other games, other uh, Bethesda games where you can't sell items to vendors normally if you steal them. Also, if you get busted, they take them. Uh, I do would like to like used to be in my old Fallout games, Fallout One and Two. One particularly, I used to like kill everybody. Once I was no, done, it. I like I would just murder them all. So I'm thinking about trying to do that in this game. It's not as easy with the Bethesda ones because they flag a bunch of NPCs as unkillable. So I don't know how well it'll work, but we'll see. Hmm. See, I don't... I'm so confused. I still don't understand what... Let's, let's see what it is. Something bad went down. The old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. 
Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. Huh. See, oh, I love that. See, I love that. Just talking to him, like, I didn't press anything. I just stopped and listened to him. And it marked the location on my map. That kind of stuff is awesome. Speaking of, we haven't uh, looked at that <laughs> armor that we got. Um, DC guard umpire. Oh, whoa! That's pretty damn good. We lose the inventory space, but I can uh, I can live with that. You see, Gar. Wow. I'm glad I killed that guy. I mean, you know, I'm sorry he had to die, but but hey. Oh, the helmet. We'll wait to put the helmet on. I like to see her face and head and stuff while we're talking. I feel that way basically about any time I play a character, you know, I want to see their face and when they're wearing a mask all the time, it's kind of like, eh. What do we look like? <laughs> nice. Awesome. Now, ah, where'd you get that? Ah, you know, I just found it laying around, you know how it is. So, like, both marks are listed here. Odd. Maybe the, maybe the empty square means, like, how to leave town? I don't know. Like, if you're in a zone, I, I don't get it. I will say I'm disappointed with how often you zone in this game, like with... Like, I, one of the big things that I was excited about, and I know this is going to sound silly, is that you didn't zone to go into buildings. But sometimes you do. Uh, like, Witcher was really good with that. The, I don't think you hardly ever zone when going into buildings. But I'm totally glad I killed that car now. <laughs> that armor is way better. Let's, let's look at our overall... Defense now. 81. Wow. That's b way better than it was. So I might... <clears throat> may have to, you know, find another guard or two that's out by himself patrolling. You never know, you know... This is a rough area, right? I mean, anything can happen. At any time. Oh, just... Can I get through here? Won't be able to pick this. Quit, do ya? Get in here? That no, that's just a wooden wall, I guess. Oh, I see you. Oh, that's a dead guy. Never mind. I can imagine he's gonna give me too much trouble. Looks tasty though. Damn it. I think I can pick this. I don't think this is where we need to be going anyway. Please be a little careful. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a there's a sentry there. Let's not push it. Also, in case anybody's ever wondering, like, because I've I've talked about possibly doing multiple runs of this game, we got like different builds, things of that nature. Is that a yeah, it's one of those dogs. Damn! That dog just ceased to ex- Oh, no, there is. It's gonna stay. Yeah, the other dog was like, oh, no, I'm good. What are we got going on here? Kill him, kill him, kill him! Oh. Damn. <laughs> I was hoping the dog would win. Like, ah, I'll clean this mess up, guys. Don't worry, I'll I'll take his body back to town. My good karma's paying off. Yeah. Damn it. Do you want to walk away a little bit? Yeah, just you know, come on down here. We'll talk. You look. Uh, hey there. Everything outside the wall ain't safe. That's just how it is. If you want to come on down this way. A little bit? Let me put the helmet on now, by the way. Totally unrelated to me trying to get him to step away from uh, being guarded. Yeah, come on. Let's go, uh, let's go kill some bad guys. What just happened? 
Nope, I think they responded me. Yep, I think they might have spotted me. Hurry up. Wow, that thing really blew up. Yep. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. Everything is as it should be. Gonna borrow this guy's stuff. Maybe have a little bite. I just want to see if he's got any uh, other armor that maybe the other guy was missing. Uh, no. Damn, we're already up to 214. I really wish you could scrap stuff from this. Okay, so he mostly died for no reason. Nah, it's fine. Let's have a little food. I just want to go in and make sure that uh, we don't get attacked. But chops. Do do. -do. I just want to walk by the guards and make sure that they're like, "Oh, hi, everything's cool. You're definitely uh, not a brutal murderer." Hey, guy. <laughs> Detected. Yes. I'm not even gonna bother try pickpocketing. Man, I drove people Plenty insane. Of shops inside the city. If you need a trade. Yeah. All right. So luckily, they don't seem to know. <laughs> That's good. But, yeah, that's one thing I hated about, like, Oblivion was really bad about, like, oh, you got it, you killed a guard, like, everybody knows. Like, they sort of, kind of, tried to make it so it wasn't that way, but it pretty much was. Uh, Fallout 1 was bad, actually, about that, too. Uh, you had karma, and if your karma was low enough, I think they would just fight you out, kill you outright, because, like, I killed everybody in the first town in, in Fallout, and I actually never really did any of the quests that my first time through on Junk Town. Because uh, as soon as I went to Junk Town, like everybody, uh, like nope, they wouldn't even let me in. Why do these things have names? They're just freaks. Oh Jesus. Run. Run. Good ass. With that shotgun. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. When there are ghouls, they are everywhere. Look how much damage they take, too. Good lord. Yeah, god damn. These things... <laughs> these things... Like, there's always a billion other things. And, uh... They take a lot of hits. Like, the ghouls are the worst enemy in this game so far. They've never been this tough. Like, they were usually no big deal. But now they've made them into, like, super mega zombies. For some reason. Where are we going? Why don't you just avoid that shit? Yeah, they're insane. Then I have to use me some of them drugs. Um. Where's uh, that shit at? Run! 
Ugh. Fucking AP Mayas. Critted. Wait, stop moving. It's messing us up. It's hurting our damage and our damage resistance. Jesus, jump the Christ. My God. All right, so we need some uh, red away for sure. And where's the Mongol chops? Wish I could eat these guys. I'm actually gonna go back and eat some of the dudes that they killed though. Holy shit though. Seriously, these things are insane. I might up my rad resistance too, because so far reds Radiation is definitely far more, uh, been far more prevalent than it has been in previous games. That is for show. Which I'm okay with. For the most part, you could ignore it a lot of the times in old other games. So it's actually nice to see it be a little bit relevant. Other than the glow in the first game, I believe it was. The other really nice thing about... Sorry, I was, I was listening. I thought I heard something. Um, the really other nice thing about um, cannibalism is it heals you immediately, right? I really wish you could break apart items. Like, just wherever you were. Like, look how many people they, they took out. Like, these guys were armored, had weapons. They just, like, did not give a shit. Alright, we are not going this way, though. Because that's scary. But at least they kind of made those feral ghouls actually scary now. I guess like say feral ghouls before, I don't ever recall being very scary. Death claws, sure. Super mutants, absolutely. Feral ghouls, not so much. But now they are. I really like too the animation where they like run it to you and just kind of fall and lunge. That's that's pretty damn cool. Like. That strikes me as something that they would actually do. Is this where we're going? I think? It's hard to tell. Uh, no it is not. I didn't go in there. Alright, we're gonna kinda crouch here because I just... don't want an army of... damn feral ghouls up my... up my ass. Yeah, the big thing too is that they're in groups. Hmm. You're mine then. Boosh. I'm your I'm what now? What? I'm sorry, I can't hear you over your lifeless body falling down the stairs. <laughs> Close that mostly broken the hell door. Give myself a little treat. Alright. Continuing on. Good, we're about a hundred feet away. Feet, Beatrice. Whatever this game measures in. Ooh, Hubris Comics. Now this we might make a little stop for. Because if it has comics in there, comics give you a permanent, permanent, uh, upgrade. Hello. Sea Captain's hat. Nice. Yeah, comics are good. Yeah, I was reading, if you look at our stats, it shows the comic books there. I think it just gives you a flat critical chance. So... Wow, we've only been an hour already? Yeah. 
Ah, hell. Damn! It's not really what I would want it. These are going down fairly easy. Nice. Got a level. Damn it. How many good things are there? Oh, one less is the answer to that question. Got them rads. All right. Let's see what we all got here. Bunch of ghoul nerds hanging out in the comic book shop, of course. Bowling ball. Yeah, I'm guessing that's heavy as hell. But uh, yeah, if we look at our stats... Oh, we did an hour on this mission. Holy cow. How did we take an hour to get here? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, if we look at stats... We go to special... Or no, perks. We have barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks do 5% damage. So, I think it just adds that. But, anyway. Hmm, I'm actually not quite sure what I want. Uh, and I need to run the restroom again, so uh, let me think about it, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And we can actually now get the second level of Iron Fists that our attacks do 40% more damage as opposed to 20. As a 20% damage increase, that is an obvious yes. Next level will be at what? Uh, 18. So, a ways to go. I was trying to think, should it be worth it to get more damage? Or would it be better to uh, pick something totally new? But I figured, in this case, it'd be better to get something... Uh, to increase on our our, mate, our hand hand damage, rather, not melee. I think I said melee. So, technically... The burnt comic. Can't really learn a lot from that, unfortunately. Won't be able to pick this. Oh, come on. Alright, fine. What is with these things? Creepy. This hell, and I keep hearing something. I think it's rad roaches. Oh, here we go. Nice. You collect an issue of the Unstoppables, permanently gain one percent chance to, of avoiding all damage from an attack. Oh, nice. Ah, the storeroom key. Would it open this? Don't think I can pick this. Damn. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, good. We'll check everything else first. But yeah, I think this is a worthwhile diversion. Jangles the Moon Monkey. Of course I'll take that. Scavenger's Note. Hmm. Where can we read that? Misc? Scavenger's Note. I can't believe I signed on for this. Who wants this crap? Collectors, the boss said. So who's the fool here? Them or us? Huh. I guess it's joke on the old collector's edition comics. Nerdery. Don't really do the comic side of, uh... Video game, or, uh... Geekdom. I used to. I used to be big into... Uh, a very specific comics. Cause for a while there was kind of... Try and learn various ones, but um, I mostly stuck with Spawn and Venom. I love Venom. Venom's awesome. I'd love to see a good Venom movie, and by good I mean rated R. You gotta have rated R. You can't do like PG-13 with a Venom movie. That's ridiculous. I'd be trying to like having have trying to have Carnage in a movie. With PG-13. Just would not work. Oh good, open that. 308 round. Fusion cell. Silver table knife. Okay. I do like how they made, like, everything useful. I think that's awesome. Like, instead of just a bunch of crap that you pick up. Like, when you very first start the game, you pick everything up, right? Because, oh, adhesive, good. 
Uh, you pick up everything, because you just don't know, right? But then eventually it's like, oh, I don't need these clipboards because they weigh a pound and they, you know, they they sell for a penny or a, you know, a cap. So not worth it. Ah, shit. <laughs> and Psycho Buffs wears off. At the perfect time. Oh. Um. <laughs> I don't quite know what happened there. Damn. Feral ghouls. Like, they're definitely something to be afraid of because of not just... Scavenger's list. Let's see what that is. A scavenger's lead. We didn't read that one. Check out Huber's Comics up Newbury Street. Store on the ground floor. Ought to be easy pickings. Pickin', pickings. Pickings? Wow. Stuff worth coming back for. Axe. Boss said it was too heavy to bother with, but someone will buy it. Comic books. Have to be one or two that are still legible. Always good for a few caps. Storeroom. Just need someone who could pick that lock. Have to check with Carl. Maybe we can get Ken Standish on the job. Damn monkey creeps me out. I know, right? What's up with the damn monkey? Gonna have to eat this guy. Not even fresh. Probably cold. Nasty. I'll try to keep my, uh, my light on when it's dark. Because YouTube does like to darken things up just a bit. Okay. Unlock this. Oh, that was easy. I love it when it's at the 12 o'clock. Manager's terminal, hey? Eh? What do we got here? Eh. Came into work, found another stealth revision to the shooting script. Need to tell him before you go on vacation. Alright, next. Pull my hair out. It's cast and sign a contract. I don't care who much about the tomb of Am Amun Grost. All right. I'm looking for useful information here. Is that important to you? Maybe we can put Claire in a wig. Maybe 20 years ago. She got star power. We need romance. All right. Something that sounds like somebody was like writing a script for a movie or something. Who knows? Desktop picture frame. I'm trying to go a little bit easier on the stuff for looting because we're already, I think, getting close to maxed out. Damn. How big is this area? The elevator. Ooh, shit. Um. Don't want to fall down there. Oh, as I almost. Oh, shit. No. Oh. That wasn't so bad. Check out here. Ooh. Super bright. What the hell? Here, squeaking. We're expecting rad roaches to pop out of nowhere. Best wishes, the silver shroud. Okay. Damn burnt comics. Definitely here's something. Like a rad roach. Maybe more than one. Damn, this place is big. I was not expecting this, that's for sure. If I could get more comic books, that would be great. It still takes about three hits to take these out. What's funny is the earlier ones, we were like the ones on that first floor. Or the, well, actually the second floor. I think that, those took like one. What do we got here? I think this is the same thing. Again, just kind of looking for useful information. Shannon's family. Oops. I actually do want to read those, but bed doors busted and fixed and rebusted. 
Oh, there's the red roach. Come in there, red roach. Lock tight. Or not. My god! <laughs> this place is actually pretty big. I see like see that like oh no. Lots of stuff to explore. How terrible. I would really, really like to have some non-burnt comics though. Is that a fear old? <laughs> Push her off. <laughs> She's fine. Damn you radiated bastards. Making noises all over the place. Ah, shit. Get out. Freaking rads, I swear. All right. We need food. And those Nuka Cola Quantums are pretty sick. Ah, Rad Resist. That would have been good to have eaten quite a while back. Good job. Yeah, I'm thinking we may have to put some points into Rad Resistance because this seems to be a common theme. I know, oddly enough, in this post apocalyptic world. Okay, that's that. Go back upstairs and drop down there, down into that, this room. Ooh, hell yeah. Nice. Mm, Nuka Cola cherry. I really do want to try that, that Nuka Cola. I mean, I realize it's probably just some generic flavored drink at Target. But Jones Soda, first of all, is good, to be fair. What is that? Let's yeah, keep going. Coffee pot. Oh, okay. Alright, we can leave. We got one comic book out of it. 1% chance to completely avoid damage. That's not... not uh, especially for a free upgrade, I'll take it. Take that any day of the week. Slow time getting out of here. But yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed that there are more loading when going into buildings and stuff. I'll live with it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to actually stop it here. This video has gone on a little bit longer than, uh, than I anticipated. So uh, thanks again to Gage for your support on Patreon. Next, we will be continuing with this mission and uh, rescuing, hopefully rescuing, the lost detective. I will see you guys then. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, leave comments, and uh, I'll see you then. That's what I said.